Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, our favorite attention-seeking, spotlight-hogging duchess decides to grace the Children's Hospital Los Angeles Gala with her presence. Now, you think a charity event for sick children would be a slam dunk for some good par, right? Wrong. Leave it to Megan to turn a night of giving into her own personal red carpet extravaganza. Let me paint the scene for you. The stars are out, the cameras are flashing, and everyone's there to support a great cause. Then, like a hurricane in designer duds, Megan sweeps in. And folks, she doesn't just walk the red carpet. Oh no, she sets up camp on it. 30 minutes. That's how long Her Royal Highness of Hollywood decided to monopolize the red carpet. 30 whole minutes. I've seen entire TV shows that don't last that long. Can you imagine the poor celebrities behind her, probably thinking, did I accidentally stumble into a one-woman show called the Meghan Markle Experience? But here's where it gets really juicy. Apparently, the event staff had to call security to escort our duchess off the red carpet. Can you believe it? Security. At a charity event, it's like they were dealing with a rowdy rock star, not a former royal. I bet the queen is rolling in her grave right now, thinking, I abdicated the throne for this. Now, here's the kicker. Somehow, miraculously, not a single camera caught this drama unfolding. In an era where people filmed their breakfast for Instagram, we're supposed to believe that Meghan Markle getting the boot from a high-profile event went completely undocumented? It's more mysterious than the plot of a soap opera. Of course, Meghan's fans are out in full force, defending her honor like she's Joan of Arc in a designer gown. She was just being thorough. They cry. She's passionate about the cause. Passionate about the cause. Please. The only cause Meghan's passionate about is keeping herself in the spotlight. And let's not forget, this is a woman who claims she left the royal family for privacy. Privacy. Yet here she is, clinging to that red carpet like it's a life raft in the choppy seas of irrelevance. It's almost sad, really, almost. But you know who I really feel sorry for, the kids, the actual sick children this gala was supposed to be about. While Megan's busy playing Hollywood starlet, these kids are fighting real battles. It's like she forgot the first rule of charity events. It's not about you, honey. Now let's talk about Harry for a second. Where was he during all this? Probably at home, polishing his participation trophies and wondering where it all went wrong. Can you imagine being married to someone who turns a children's charity event into their own personal paparazzi party? It's enough to make you want to swim back across the pond. And speaking of the pond, let's take a moment to appreciate how the real royals handle these things. Kate Middleton, bless her heart, manages to attend events, support causes, and look flawless without holding up the entire proceedings. That's class, folks. That's what a real duchess looks like. But back to our Hollywood royal. The aftermath of this fiasco must have been something to behold. I can just picture Meghan's per team, huddled in a room, trying to spin this disaster. Maybe we can say she was, uh, giving an impromptu speech about children's rights? On the red carpet? For half an hour. Good luck with that one, guys. The real tragedy here, besides the utter disrespect for the event's purpose, is that Meghan seems to have learned absolutely nothing from her time as a royal. She's still playing the same old games, still chasing that spotlight like a moth to a flame. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion, except the car is a Rolls Royce and it's crashing into a pile of discarded tires. So what's next for our favorite royal reject? Will she start showing up at random red carpets, refusing to leave until security is called? Will she launch her own line of red carpet-themed merchandise? Stand your ground, the Meghan Markle way. Or will she finally, finally realize that sometimes, just sometimes, it's not all about her? Only time will tell, my friends. But one thing's for sure, as long as Meghan keeps providing us with this top-tier drama, I'll be here, your friendly neighborhood critic ready to spill all the tea and serve up the hot takes. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.